Hardy Weinberg Equilibrium. Who created Hardy Weinberg Equilibrium? It was created by Wilhelm Weinberg, a German physician, and Godfrey Harold Hardy, a British mathematician. We learned who. Now, what is Hardy Weinberg Equilibrium? It is genetic equilibrium within a population. We learned who and what. Now, how do you calculate it? Using the equations p plus q equals 1 and p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. In the first equation, p is the frequency of the dominant allele, while q is the frequency of the recessive allele. In our second equation, p squared is the frequency of individuals with the homozygous genotype. 2pq in this equation is the frequency of the individuals with the heterozygous genotype. And finally, q squared is the frequency of individuals with the homozygous recessive genotype. Now that we learned what it is and how to calculate it, let's see what a population has to have in order to be considered in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. There are five conditions. The first condition is a large population because it must be large enough that chance occurrences cannot significantly change allelic frequencies. The second condition is no mutations to ensure that allelic frequencies remain constant. The third condition is random mating, which is needed to make sure that all alleles have an equal chance of being passed down through generation. If mating isn't random, certain alleles are given an advantage of being more likely to be passed down than others. The fourth condition is absolutely no gene flow, which means no organisms or other gametes enter or exit the population. The fifth and final condition is no natural selection to make sure all organisms are equally likely to survive and reproduce. If any of these five conditions are met, the population will not be in hardy weinberg equilibrium. Now that we learned the, condi the conditions, it's quite obvious that these are not easily suffice. So why is this hardy weinberg stuff useful? This equation is why. This equation gives you a baseline which can be used to measure gene evolution in a population. For example, a population of cats can be either black or white, with a black allele having dominance over the white. For this example, let's say the population is 1,000 cats, 840 black, 180 white, and we determine the allele frequency, frequency per genotype, and number of individuals per genotype. First, let's try to find the frequency of cats, of white cats. To do this, we use the equation number of individuals over total population. Now we got our problem, now let's substitute our numbers in, and it'll be 0.16. Now we plug that 0.16 back into our equation as q squared, which is the frequency of cats with the heterozygous recessive genotype. Next, we'll find q alone by taking the square root of 0.16, and we'll end up getting 0.4. Then we'll put this in our first equation to find p, and we'll find that p is equal to 0.6. Now that we found p, we can square p to find p squared, and it will come out to be 0.36. Now we plug our 0.36 back into our equation in the position of p squared. Now we just have to find 2pq, which we can just multiply 2 by our 0.6 and 0.4, which are our frequency of alleles, and this will come out to be 0.48. All right, we found our allele frequency, which is 0.6 for black cats and 0.4 for white cats. And we found our frequencies per genotype, 0.36 for dominant, 0.48 for heterozygous, and 0.16 for recessive. Now all that's left to find is number of individuals per allele. And we do this by multiplying frequency of individuals by the total population. And if we do this, we'll find that there are 360 black cats with dominant genotype, 480 black cats with heterozygous genotype, and finally, 160 white cats with recessive genotype. I hope that helped you wrap your head around Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and made it easier to understand. Thank you.